is El Rabbit from El Rabbit's Barbecue, and uh, tonight we're making some uh, Tex Mex, but it's really comfort food. It's stuff that my mom used to make when we were kids, me and my brother, and um, we're browning some ground beef. We're making tostadas or chalupas or either or whatever you want to call them. Right now I'm browning off my meat. Um, and I'm preheating the center pan. So I'm fixing the, this is uh, 80 20. And I'm fixing the, um, just lightly brown it. Then I'm going to come back, drain it. Then I'm going to come back and um, put some, I have some onions, some jalapeno, I'm not jalapeno, but serrano peppers that are going to go in it. And of course, salt and pepper. I already got my shells ready to go, got my greenery and all my fixings and we'll be right back. Let me get let me get this done. Okay in your in your pan with some pre preheated oil in it or preheated pan. You're gonna drop your tortillas. You wanna try to hold it in, submerge it into the oil. because it's going to want to bubble up and you want a nice foundation okay I just got the, uh, this corn tortilla out I'm fixing to put in my that's what you want it to look like and um, it's hot I'm holding it up against the flour one but um, you want it to look like that and it got the crunchy um, the flour tortilla is going to probably want to bubble up a lot worse because they you know they're flowery it's just like that that's how it is you see there it goes like a balloon and you don't want that because you want it to be on a nice solid base you want to push all that air out of it or try to okay folks um, I've lightly browned my, my ground beef it's not done all the way through and I've uh, left some of the oil or grease in the pan and I'm hitting it with some onion the peppers I'll put them in later and uh, just want to lightly saute these to start and the pan is good and hot so that goes in the ground beef into the into the pan we'll let it cook the rest of the way with these onions and stuff if you want to deglaze a little bit you can I may I may not I think we're good right here I'm just gonna let it finish cooking or steaming through um, okay salt and pepper in there's some salt and fresh cracked pepper. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it went in. We'll be right back. Okay, we're we're about ready to put these together. My favorite is the flour tortilla, which is this one. And then this is, of course, this is the corn tortilla. My flour tortilla, I'll take it. Put about a teaspoon or so of refried beans on it kind of get them spread out a little bit you want them to be kind of a thin layer and then after you spread those you want to put some ground beef on it of course Then, if you follow me right here, we'll take, and uh, we have pickles, tomatoes, cilantro, avocado, and uh, lettuce. Take some lettuce, sprinkle it on there liberally, however much you want. Just 
sliced avocado, just a couple pieces. Some tape, some tomato. Maybe I should put that last. And then some, just a few sprigs of cilantro. That's my favorite. Then you can make just a, uh, this is corn tortilla. You can just make it with beans. Oh, I forgot, I got some cheese that I'm supposed to put on here too. Beans, and lettuce, some tomato. Let me get the cheese out. Put some, some cheese on there. Light dusting, it's just for a little bit of flavor, it doesn't need to be on there real quick. I'm gonna make one more example, and this is just like if you don't want beans, meat, take your avocado. That's really good there too. We can put salt and pepper on that. Look at my plate, I didn't got it dirty. Let me get my salt and my salt and pepper. And from high above. And you have three examples of some comfort food here. on volunteers on who's going to get these. I think I'm going to get that, whoever wants these two. Or I may get these two. But um, you can trick them out in any combination that you want. Then uh, I have some salt I'm going to put on top of mine. And uh, basically this is, this is it. Take a little bite of it. Nice and crunchy, and still all well put together. Try these, try this out, folks. Y'all love it. I grew up eating these when I was at home. Looks like it's gonna rain today, so comfort food it is here. I appreciate y'all stopping and checking me out. Y'all please comment, rate, and subscribe. Need all the subs I can get. I appreciate y'all stopping by.